We have another story tonight about the growing conflict between advocates of alternative energy and conservationists. Many people believe biofuels are a key component in the building of a new energy landscape for the U.S., but they could come at a huge cost in water. Correspondent Molly Henneberg tells us in tonight's America's Future Report, there is growing concern about whether that price for biofuels is just too high. Is it really environmentally friendly to take this to power these? The debate over ethanol, that is corn fermented to become fuel, is now focused on the impact on our water supply. I don't think ethanol is the wave of the future. Marlo Lewis, a senior fellow at the Competitive Enterprise Institute, says the amount of irrigation needed to turn corn into ethanol is just too draining. It takes an estimated 1,000 gallons of water to grow enough corn to produce one gallon of ethanol. And then he says it takes another four gallons of water to process that corn into that one gallon of ethanol. But the ethanol industry says it's not that dire. We've learned how to reap more value from each bushel of corn than anyone. Poet Energy, which runs 26 biofuel now, plants, says new hybrid corn plants need less water. About 4% of the, of the uh, land used to produce corn is irrigated, so 96% actually is driven by rainfall. So you know, while there's some uh, water used in irrigation and ethanol, it's actually declining because hybrids have continued to become better and better uh, at, at sustaining without water. And to get the corn into fuel form, Bruin says it's comparable to gasoline. It takes approximately the same amount of water to produce a gallon of ethanol as it does to produce a gallon of gasoline, uh, roughly three gallons per gallon produced. A new report by the National Research Council on Ethanol and Water indicates some freshwater sources are being depleted. Our high Plains Aquifer in uh, Nebraska, for example, has already been drawn down uh, over 100 feet. And that's a, a non-renewable resource in the sense that we're mining the water. It would take literally uh, decades and centuries for it to uh, be recharged again. Professor Schnorr says to prevent water shortages and an increase in food prices, the biofuels industry should look for new sources of ethanol that don't require as much water as corn, such as switchgrass or wood chips. In Washington, Molly Henneberg, Fox News.